Omar. Omar. Omar Yagi, dude, Yagi. from the prediction. I knew it. That's amazing. I told you. Yep. 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 Yes. I called call that. It. We are day three of Nobel Prize week. Chemistry. We just watched the live stream, and the winner is Metal Organic Frameworks. So the, the chair of the Nobel Committee said, new rooms for chemistry, new rooms right? For chemistry. We're like, what, 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 what are you talking about? Well, it, it's a pretty good way of talking about Metal Organic Frameworks, okay? What, what we're doing is we're making new rooms for chemistry that have custom sizes, custom doors, and they're made out of custom walls. So they've got a, they've got a cartoon, as they always do. Um, on the left there... That's the cartoon from the Nobel Committee. Yes. And on the right is the actual one one of the examples. These things are exceptionally useful, mainly because they got a bunch of holes, okay, okay. that you can use to do really cool things. For example, suppose you want to filter out carbon dioxide from exhaust, mm -hmm. right? This porous material can now do that, uh, yeah. right? Suppose you want to like get water from thin air. The porous material can now do that, yeah. right? Yeah. So the award was given to these three individuals for basically starting this field, okay? And like bringing it to its heyday. So the first one is Richard Robson. He's the one in the middle from the University of Melbourne. He's the guy who sort of founded okay. this um, back in the 1980s. Okay. And then there's um, Susumu Kitagawa from Kyoto University and Omar Yagi. They, in parallel, brought the field forward to where now it's like so many industrial applications. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's so many different applications. The one on the left, that's used to capture water vapor. Okay. Okay. The one in the middle, that's that can be used to um, catalyze the decomposition of crude oil. Oh, very interesting. Right. Which is which is very nice. On the right, that's something that can be, absorb um, PFAS. It's one of these like forever chemicals. Yes. The EPA always talks about yes. it. Like they they never degrade. Get into our bodies. Get into the environment. Um, that's something that can absorb those forever chemicals from water. So, and so the, the, one of the, the ideas here is that we can begin to create these chemical compounds that we can then use for things like, you know, uh, controlling emissions issues. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Um, the, the one on the left, that's for mining rare earth metals from wastewater. Oh, OK. Yeah. Right. Because yes. like waste industrial waste is going to have a bunch of metals. Yes. And you don't want it to that, go into that's the, a huge that's a huge application. Yeah, that's an unbelievable application. Right. And then in the middle, that's to absorb CO2. There you go. There you go. That's what you were talking yep, about. Yep, yep. And then on the right, that one's actually my my favorite. Um, that one can store and release hydrogen at normal pressure. Oh, really? Okay. At, at so you don't need a tank of compressed hydrogen. That's really and crazy. that's huge. Yeah. Because compressed hydrogen yes. is how you get the Hindenburg in your car. Right. <laughs> right. And like everything explodes. I can understand why this won the Nobel. Right. Yeah. 